Hello and welcome to my new Blender tutorial. Today I want to show you how I made this uh, pipe system here with the bolts and how you can do this with geometry nodes. So I don't want to waste your time, so let's get right started. We start with a brand new file and I'm gonna turn on my screencast keys so you can see what I'm typing here. So first we're gonna start with a geometry nodes tree of course and we're gonna search for a curve spiral. This is our spiral, our base object with which we want to begin. Now how do we turn a curve into a pipe? That's very easy, you use curve to mesh which is a very useful node and then you give here a profile for it, so how it uh, should look like. So you can give here a curve circle and then our pipe got a profile. It's much too big, so we would use the radius here and you see that's already good looking and that's what we are looking for and what we wanted. So the next thing we want to do is we want here some uh, pipe adapters. I don't know what the real name is, but I think you know what I mean. So we're gonna instance on points some things here. And we're gonna instance a mesh circle. So what you see now is it's way too much points and of course what you also see is the mesh circle is not filled so we choose here Angon but it's way too much so we don't use this curve here but we use a resample curve so we get only um, we put this of course here and we use this to instance it and now you see we have just 10 curves this is good and of course we want to have C both so we connect this to this with control 0 you can join the geometry and now we have joined it but we don't want to have the curve from here because this is very edgy we want a nice curve so we go to here and yeah that looks good now we have a curve and we have our uh, adapters but now we want to turn around the adapters to the right direction how do we do this well we're gonna use this rotation here and we use a line Euler to vector and we use the z value and we need the curve tangent we put this into the vector and now our adapters are already good looking but we don't want adapters at the start point so we use here endpoint selection and we use a boolean math because we don't want to have them so we say here not the endpoints and then this thing here will disappear and watch this gone and here is gone too now we want the circle of course a little bit uh, smaller so we're gonna turn down the radius here to a better value this looks good to me. I'm going to crank up the resolution here, which looks much better. And I'm going to turn on here matcap because I like it. It looks better. We have some lighting here. So what we need now, we don't need a circle, but we need a little bit more because our circle should have some depth. So I'm going to make here some room and then I say extrude mesh that's already pretty nice but we turn down scale a bit and you see now uh, I'm going to crank up the resolution so it's wound up 
you see now we are missing it's extruding yes it's nice but we do not have a face here at the end so the trick is here we just uh, flip the side of our original uh, the face we can of course uh, join just the two these two guys here but you see now what's happening if I just join them we're gonna have uh, uh, if I just join them it looks white but it isn't because if I now check here for face orientation, it's red. Red means oh, wrong face orientation. Blue means okay. So we have to add here a flip faces. And now we got the white face orientation. Now we're gonna turn off this again. This is how you can do this. And now we are going to add the screws. So uh, there is a blender add-on. If you go to preferences, you can search there for Bolt Factory. And if you activate this here, you get, if you press Shift A here, Mesh Bolt. And now you got a bolt here, which is pretty nice. We make this invisible. And we use this here by just drag and drop this bolt. So we got here object info node and we want to have this build on these faces. Um, so we add another mesh circle, but this time we just use six vertices and I'm going to show you why, because then we can say instance on points on these six vertices with our bolt and if we connect this to our output you see we got this which looks not good because it's much too much scaled so it makes it slower and this is you see exactly what we want we have six bolts of course you can also take five or four whatever you you like for your connecting or maybe five and if we now connect these guys instance to our curve here we should see something so we join this here and now there are all our bolts you see it's a little bit outside and it's still too big so I make this bolt smaller and what we also need is some transform here so we move these guys over I think it's that value yes and of course the mesh circle is too big as you can see so we just move it in there I think this looks already pretty nice and now we want this to animate and this is very easy because we have a node scene time here and with the map range node you can beautifully animate your things why because we animate here the frame value which ranges from 1 to uh, 30 and we want to move the z value we can just check it out here so let's say our end value which looks fine is 7.02 so 7.02 is our aim and we want to start if it's uh, outside so we start something like here this is 11.8 if I put here 11.8 and if I now show you our timeline you can see if I put this into uh, combine X, Y, that, and we just want to rotate the uh, move. I'm sorry, we want to move the Z value. Put this in here, and if I now run, you see it's perfectly uh, going in, but of course it should also rotate, so we double the 
these two guys here and we connect of course this also and now we use rotation let's check with yes it is at rotation value and now we just have to find out how quick it is of course this is i think too slowly but it looks like the right direction so we use instead of zero let's check 50 yeah i think that's looking already now maybe a little less let's take 30 you see that's oh. i think it's the wrong direction okay let's take minus yes okay this is already um the whole thing i wanted to show you and of course you can give materials to it if you want to know how this works last just let me know what i think uh, you know it and this is just a geometry notes tutorial i hope you learned something i hope you have fun and by the way if you put geometry in the input thing uh, this is one thing i want to show you because i love it very much of course, you can not just start with a spiral, but with any curve. And if you now add a curve here, let's think about Bezier. And now you use new and the geometry uh, node tree you choose here and connect this. You can see that there is your pipe and um, of course this looks not good because you, you resample here on count we should resample on length and so the um, the distance is always the same but the great thing here is now you can say to the Bezier curve in edit mode you can here say uh, draw and watch this now we have a beautiful pipe uh, with all these things and of course the length should be bigger like this example and yes now the, the pipe should be bigger but i think you know what i'm what i mean and i think it's pretty great that you can just paint here how you want it hope you're fun hope you learned something bye